Hey, Gemini's. How's it going? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. If this is your first time checking out Truly Divine's channel, what is that? My name is Amy. If you're returning, welcome back. Definitely a great message, to say the least, for you guys for the 16th to the 30th. These readings are dehydrating me today. All right, guys. So Gemini's great message. Um, I know shit's been rocky. I know shit's been tough, but I feel like there's a breakthrough coming. So with that, let's go into your reading. So Oracle card to start off your reading says the angel of order. My outer life reflects my inner order. Awareness of order is active on every level of creation. No being or thing would exist if process of order and ritual were forgotten. The sun, the moon, the stars, and all of the nature respond with order and beauty to the creator. When there is no order, the higher energies flow without hindrance. We feel a great freedom and we don't need to worry about what to do next. So whatever is to come for you guys for the second half of August, I feel just realize like everything is happening the way that it's supposed to. And even though you don't understand right now, like why things are happening, why people are leaving your life, I feel like God does. I feel like spirit does. I feel like the universe does. And I feel like what they're saying is that just let them do what they do well. And you do what you do well, which is having trust and having faith that everything is going to align itself together the way that it's always meant to. All right. So with that, moving in. You guys are still in this energy of feeling like you just want to give up. I feel like part of me feels taken advantage of, okay? And this is what I'm getting from the Ten of Swords to start off your reading. So you feel like you're being taken advantage of. You feel you're at a loss. You feel like giving up. You feel defeated. You feel alone. You feel like you have no one. You feel like you, you're, you're just putting your hands up and you're saying, God, I'm, I'm just done. Right. You're you. The, okay. So here's the thing, Gemini is you do want more. You do. I see, I can feel it. You want that relationship. You want that commitment. You want that love. You want that job, but it's like something had to leave in order for something new to shift in. And even though you don't, see that as being something positive, I feel like spirits kind of coming through and feeling and kind of saying, you know what, Gemini's? Yes, you feel lost. Yes, you feel defeated. Yes, you feel alone. Yes, you feel like giving up. Yes, you feel like you have no one. Yes, you feel heartbreak or heartache or, you know, just being sad in general. You do feel like you're at the, ver you feel like you're wounded, nine of wands. You feel like you, you're you wounded. You feel like you've been put through the ringer. You feel like you have nothing left. You feel like you've got to protect yourself with the seven of wands, especially coming through. This is a time of staying guarded, a time of protecting yourself, standing up for yourself, setting healthy boundaries for yourself, learning to say no, having perseverance to just push through, having the strength to say, you know what? I don't know what's to come of this. I don't know how I'm going to get myself out of this, but I do know that I have to do it. I do know that if I want true happiness, I have to go through something. I know that if I want new love to come through, I have to get rid of old love. I know that at a time in my, in, in my, sorry, at a time and a place when I feel like nothing is going right in my life, there's a reason that it's unfolding the way that it is. And even though we don't know why this is happening, spirit does, the universe does. And they're saying, we see that you're sad. We see that you're upset. We see that you're praying. We see that you're, 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 you're putting your hands up and saying that you can't do this anymore. But you know what we also see? We also see a strong individual who goes through battles, who continues to go 
through the works, who continues to go through these trials and trumps that keeps getting thrown at them. And even though they don't understand the why, even though they feel, I want to hear, I want to say victimized, but okay, guys, I just feel like, so you, we all know you feel defeated. We all know you feel lost. We all know you have this wall up now. We all know that you feel victimized. You feel like you've been through war and back and that you've got all of these swords in your back and like you have no one you can trust. And the only way out that you see that you can get through this is protect yourself. The only way that you feel like you can dig yourself out of this is if you put that wall up and you stand guard. You know what Spirit says? Spirit says, that, that's a good idea. You put that wall up, but don't shut love out. You set those boundaries up. But don't resist. Don't give in to the devil. Don't give in to doubt. Don't give in to fear. What has been happening to you is teaching you. Okay? I feel like what is it teaching you? It's teaching you to stand up for yourself. It's teaching you to have a voice. It's teaching you to know that the pain that you're feeling may be something that you didn't think you'd ever feel. But this is a teaching lesson. Spirit is teaching you something. There is something to be learned. And even though you don't understand why right now, you will soon. Because a fool is here. So Spirit says, I'm coming at you. When I know you're ready, I am coming at you. And I'm bringing you opportunities. This could be opportunities with career, with love. But during this time, you need to remain open. You need to make really tough choices to leave to stay, to cut ties, to ask yourself what it is, Gemini's, that you want with your life, with your future. It's, it's taking that leap of faith. It's understanding that you may not always have someone beside you, but you do have God. You do have angels and you do have spirits. And even though you can't see them, they're always there. And even though you've been trying to look for happiness everywhere else, Gemini, it's time that you look happiness within yourself. Something about your inner child, too. I feel like what this is talking about is that your inner child wants to come out and give you guys a message. But I feel like you're not listening to your intuition or your gut when it comes to that. So maybe doing some meditation on YouTube might help bring your inner child, like, the message up. Because there is something here about an inner child. Some of you are going to be coming into a ceremony. Maybe you're going to be going to a wedding or something like that um, with the Four of Wands coming up. Four of Wands also talking about this need to release. A lot of you just want to feel better. And Spirit's saying, you will feel better. What you feel right now, you're not going to feel forever. But I want you to learn what it feels like to feel this kind of pain. I want you to learn what it feels like to be at your weakest. I want you to learn what it feels like to be broken and, and to be confused. Because once I move you into this new journey, into this new chapter, to whatever this is over here, I want you to understand why you went through the things, why I put you through the things I put you through. I want you to understand that. Because for far too long, you've been holding on to too many things, Gemini, whether that's people, whether that's past pain, whatever it is. And you haven't let that go. You haven't healed from that. It's like you literally grabbed your baggage, walked into another relationship, brought that baggage into that relationship, never healed. Maybe you let it go, but you never really healed from it. Then this relationship was all peachy. And then something in here fell apart. And then you have double the baggage and you move that into another relationship. So not only do you got baggage from here and here, but now with this third relationship, you've got all this other baggage and you're onto this third relationship and you're like, oh my God, this is so different, blah, blah, blah. But you're carrying all this baggage and spirits kind of at this place now where one, two, three strikes are out. 
you never learned, you never let go, you never healed what you needed to heal, you never understood the lesson. And now you have to learn the lesson. And now maybe you've met someone and you had a connection and you thought that I was going to go somewhere and spirit kind of was like stepped in and said, no, you need to heal. You need to be alone. You need to figure out what it is you need at this moment because searching for happiness anywhere other than in yourself is not helping you right now, Gemini. See connection. You met someone. You became obsessive. You tried to free yourself from the past, but you know what happened? You didn't. You went looking for lust. You went looking for something that you didn't have previously. And the devil was right there pushing you. Lust. You needed to be touched. And I feel like at that moment, you went and grabbed the first thing that was available. And you know what happened to you, Gemini? I'll tell you what happened. You fell victim. This is what happened. This person made you feel like you were giving up. This person made you feel hurt. But it wasn't necessarily the person. It was the lesson that you needed to learn in that. You, you were willing to go at all costs. You said to spirit, you know what? I don't care what you bring me as long as you bring me someone because I need to touch someone. I need to get my kicks on. And there's no shame in that. No shame. Everyone has sexual needs. No shame in that. But now where do you stand? Knowing that this was a lesson. Knowing that this person's about to walk out of your life. You test the waters, Queen of Cups. You look within yourself and you say, you know what? There was something I needed to learn from here. I needed to learn I had a value. I needed to learn I had a worth, Gemini. I needed to look forward. I needed to take the leap of faith and knowing that I have to be ready to face whatever comes towards me at all costs. You needed to find a balance to a pentacles. You may be hurt. You may be confused. You may be lost. You may be angry, but you're creating stress you don't need. You're worrying about stuff you don't need to worry about. The only thing you need to worry about right now is your family. Ten of Pentacles. Is your money. You have options coming through, guys. New beginnings. What's important to you? Ace of Cups. Blessings. Birth. Two things. Finding out you're pregnant, someone close to you is pregnant. Or this is just you realizing that, hey, no, these tears I've been crying because I felt like this cup was what I've been waiting for. And then I realized all along that I don't want to be with someone that makes me feel like that. That shit, I never healed from the past. I never, I never healed. And it caught up to me because the spirit said enough was enough. And all these tears I've been crying. You've got so many blessings coming in, Gemini. You've got so much coming in good for you. Lovers, two people. That's what I was talking about. You're going to have connections with people. You're going to be attracted to people. There's no shame in that. Someone might be coming back for a second chance. It might be an ex. It might be, but there's new chances as well at love. So don't close the book on love. Don't close that door. Because Spirit's saying, I brought someone into your life to take them out, to teach you that you have to be content with who you are, Gemini, before you try to find that elsewhere. You have to love yourself before you try to find that elsewhere. You have to be happy with yourself before you try and find that elsewhere. All right, guys. So two Oracle cards came up for you. First one says Archangel Raphael. I am helping you heal physical challenges in yourself and others. You are a healer like me. I am with you because I am the archangel of healing. 
I am helping you heal your own body as well as the physical bodies of others. I surround physical elements with my healing energy of emerald green light and this energy absorbed where it is needed. I speak to healers through their thoughts and feelings. I help you to discern in this way if your life purpose is to be a healer. I can help you to know which areas of healing to study and then assist with all aspects of your healing career. Call upon me whenever you need such help and know that I will be with you in an instant. There you go. Second card that came up says, Vanessa, to make your decision, ask yourself, which way brings me closer to my divine purpose? Which way takes me away from it? Should I go this way or that way? Question mark. You wonder. One day you're sure of your decision. The next day you're question, questioning it again. This indecision will be healed by focusing on your divine life purpose. Even if you aren't sure of your purpose, exact nature, you do know that it involves bringing peace to yourself and others. Based on this foundation, then which decision brings you the most peace? If you're still unsure, then ask God and the angels to help you further. You can ask us, which decision will help the most people? This is a wonderful basis upon which to make your choice. Sometimes the easiest route is the one that takes you further away from your divine purpose. So your indecision may come from a fear of making waves or uncertainty about your future. In such cases, gradual change is warranted. Slowly introduce your new direction into your daily life and ease out of your old direction slowly. In that way, you won't frighten yourself. You will be more open to hearing God's guidance and you will feel our love. So which way, which way brings you closer to your divine purpose, Gemini, and which way is taking you away from it? Because at the end of the day, me may not understand again why things happen, but sometimes you just have to trust. Sometimes you just have to have faith, Gemini. Just because you can't see an outcome doesn't mean that it's not there. Just because people leave your life does not necessarily mean there's something wrong with you. God removes people because who knows? Maybe he's protecting you. Maybe he just sees something in them that you don't see. All right. So I hope this helps someone. I hope that you guys resonate with this. Um, I felt like I resonated with this. I felt like I can, you know, take something from this. So I'm really hoping you guys can as well. I hope you guys have a fantastic second half of August. Sending you all love and light. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And I will see you guys in September. Take care of you guys. But take care of yourselves. <laughs>